Have you got the fear of the bed bugs? If yes, then this is the vlog for you, so stick around. For those of you that are new here, I am Hayley Leach. I am a cleaning consultant and a TV presenter right here in the UK. And I am gonna be going through with you my top tips to avoid or if it's relevant to you eliminate your bed bug problem so bed bugs aren't actually a new thing they have been around for centuries but what we're seeing in the news is there has been a huge infestation in paris people are finding them on trains in movie theaters and they've even been spotted in airports and a lot of people are freaking out over this. Now, bed bugs can't actually harm you. They're, they're not dangerous. And contrary to what people think, if your house is dirty, that isn't a reason why you've got bed bugs. Equally, if your house is clean, you can still get bed bugs. They don't discriminate. What bed bugs want is a food source. If you have blood within your person, which I hope you do, you're a food source you are a source for that bed bug to feed off of and thrive. Like, like Basil Fawlty, he's thriving. So that's something to be mindful of. It doesn't matter how clean your home is, how dirty your home is. If, if you come into contact with a bed bug and it happens to latch itself onto a piece of your clothing or within your luggage, you're gonna end up with bed bugs. Particularly if that one bed bug, it's all it takes is one, and her to be a pregnant bed bug, and she then returns to your home, lays all her eggs, they hatch, you've got a bed bug infestation. Bed bugs are really, really difficult to get rid of, which is why I go by the rule of prevention is better than cure. It can cost you so much money to get pest control out to remove them so i'm going to give you my top tips when it comes to preventing getting them in the first place so tip number one if you are traveling and you are going away from your home take some of these these are ziploc bags and you want to keep your clothing within the ziploc bags upon your return also when you get to your destination go ahead and check the room fun fact bed bugs although they're called bed bugs they don't just live in the bed they can you can find them in all different types of surfaces so give the room a thorough check some of the big juicy ones can grow up to the size of like an apple seed so some of them you will be able to see generally they do come out at night to feed on us have a look anyway all around the bed in the seams any kind of little tricky places that's generally where they will try and hide they are the best at hide and seek okay so that's the first thing you want to do the next thing is when you arrive at your room do not put your suitcase on the bed don't do it jackie please don't do it bed bugs they don't jump i've seen a lot of people saying they're like lice and they'll jump from one person to the next or they'll jump off the seat they don't they're walkers they're crawlers are we calling them walkers or crawlers who cares either way that's how they travel so they can crawl into your suitcase they can't jump into your suitcase so what you want to do is either use the luggage stand if there is one make sure that it's kind of like not a fabric one if it is a fabric one go ahead and place your luggage into the bathroom i know it's not ideal but you're going to want to put it in the shower or the bath this is going to be your best bet when it comes to avoiding bed bugs getting into your luggage along with the ziploc bags once you've done that and put it in the shower or the bath just retrieve your items as and when you need them if you don't want to do that and you've got a really long stay and you really do want to unpack your um washing and your clothes then as long as you check the room and you can't see any sign of bed bugs Go ahead and take out your clothes. You can put them away safely, but here's the key thing to remember. 
even if you can't see any bed bugs, at the moment, I think, particularly if you're visiting Paris, where it is kind of rife there, make sure that upon your return, you are ziplocking all the clothes in the Ziploc bags that we've discussed. Don't leave them kind of free in your suitcase because you may well run into trouble when you get home. You might think you're safe, there was no bed bugs around, you couldn't see them with the naked eye, and actually, there was one and it got in and now your home is full of bed bugs and you're paying a fortune to get rid of them. So ziplock your bags. Now we're gonna move on to, you've been away, you've had a lovely time, you've had a lovely holiday, you're back in your house. When you get back to your house, what you're gonna do is before you open your case, before you do anything, put the case in your bathtub. Don't remove it from your bathtub, leave it in your bathtub and then go ahead and open it. This way, because of the bathtub, or a shower if you have one, whichever, if you don't have a bathtub and a shower, just pick whichever one is your preference. And you're gonna open the case within the bath or the shower, and then get your clothes out of the Ziploc bags and just give them a really good check, like go over them. If there are bed bugs lurking, you generally will be able to see them in the bath, and where the bath is kind of like a slippery surface, they're not gonna do so great in that. So that's the first thing to do. Once you've done that, you're gonna get yourself a plastic, solid laundry hamper, container, box, whatever. If you just got, even if you've just got like a mop bucket and you have to do it that way, we want something that's plastic and enclosed. And then you're gonna bring your laundry downstairs. If you have a tumble dryer and the clothes can go into the tumble dryer, throw them in the tumble dryer on a hot cycle and then once that's finished put them in the washing machine and here is the important part you want to be washing your clothes on a 60 degree wash or hotter the same applies for your bedding if you have got bedding i cannot stress this enough i know we're all flying the flag for wash at 20 wash at 30 reduce your temperature you know do it for the environment and that's all well and good Bed bugs will survive temperatures that are below that heat, so make sure it's a 60 degree heat. You also want to check your timing here as well. Timing is key. You want to have that 60 degree heat on for the longest wash cycle possible. So whatever your longest, wa longest wash cycle is, place it on that on a 60 degree or hotter if you so choose. 60 degree heat and above will kill all stages of the bed bugs. So the bed bugs themselves and the eggs. Once your laundry is done, you can go ahead and take it out of your washing machine and then put it back through the tumble dryer. If you don't have a tumble dryer, skip that beginning step. This is just like being captain cautious and go straight to the washing machine. Load your stuff in the washing machine. Again, 60 degree wash or hotter then dry it as you normally would if you don't have a tumble dryer. Another thing that you need to be mindful of is things around your house. So if you are a floor drobe person, yes, I'm looking at you, gather your clothes up off the floor and make sure that you are regularly vacuuming your room and your bed. Flip the mattress over, vacuum the upholstery of the bed, vacuum the entire bed, and make sure that you are keeping on top of washing your duvets and your pillows as well. Again, I put mine through a 60 degree wash cycle religiously, and I also keep on top of vacuuming the bed itself and the mattress. I do have a UV vac for my mattress, You'll find it on previous videos. Very, very, very good. I will leave the link in the description box below if you are interested. And moving on from practical things we can do, let's now move on to products you can get if you have a bed bug situation on your hands. Here's the first thing that you can buy. These are genius. So I think these come in at around £16.75 for the double. So it's not overly spenny. I think that was quite reasonable for a double set. And what these basically are is, they are bed bug protection sheets. So what these are gonna do is, upon manufacturing these, 
they have some sort of technology embedded into the fabric of these sheets. As soon as a bed bug comes into contact with this fabric, they're deceased, okay? It's game over. They're not surviving it. So this is a really good option if you are feeling really, really anxious at the moment about the whole bed bug situation or Equally, this is a really good option if you are actually traveling. So these are perfect for travel. Upon arrival, place them on the bed and you've got the peace of mind that if there are any bed bugs there, they're not surviving for very long with these sheets, is what I'm trying to say. So these are a very, very good item. Again, I will leave the link in the description box for you if you guys want to purchase them. Next up, we have something that is quite a high price point but it is something that is available if you so choose to buy it and what this is is essentially a steamer but it reaches exceptionally high heats bed bugs and their eggs cannot survive very very high temperatures this steamer gets to the temperatures required to kill the bed bugs and the eggs this comes in at just under 700 pounds so it is an expensive purchase i would say however if you have got a bed bug infestation on your hands i would personally buy this over getting pest control out because should it happen again please god it wouldn't but if it happened again the following year or the year after where does it end when you keep you know spending more and more money to get rid of this problem I would just personally, if it were me, go for this and have it there for my own peace of mind that should I ever need it again, I don't have to pay out more money, you know? So that's my thinking there with this. Again, I will leave the link in the description box for any of you that are interested. And finally, my last tip when it comes to bed bugs is be mindful that they don't necessarily just live in the bed although they're called bed bugs you might want to check other soft furnishings skirting boards carpets things like that in and around your room including your living room as well just to make sure that you don't have a bed bug situation on your hands and finally i want to say if you are feeling really, really on edge about this, take a breath. I get it. I am feeling super on edge about bed bug gate, but the reality of it is you probably aren't going to have a problem in your home. It is extremely, extremely unlikely. And I think there is a lot of mass hysteria over this. And I think if you keep measures in place like what I've just described to you in this video and you remember to please wash your bedding and your towels on a 60 degree wash or hotter, I think you'll be fine. We'll sleep tight and we won't let the bed bugs bite. Thanks for joining me today in this vlog guys. I hope you have found it helpful. If you have go and smash the like button. If you are new here and you would like more content like this, then go ahead and click subscribe. And as always, my loves, until next time, look after yourselves and keep it clean. Bye guys.